Yes, you. Come up, ma'am, if I may call you ma'am. Come on. That's it. Let's give her a big round of applause. <laughs> Gather in tight, folks, because what you're about to experience is a trick never before seen in this lab, or dare I say it, the world. Now, madam, could you do us a favor and tell us your name? It's Dot. Dot. A big hand for Dot, shall we? Now, Dot, I would like you to clear something up for me and my friends here. Would you say that time runs forwards or backwards? Well, forward, I reckon. Are you sure, Dot? Final answer. Dot, what if I told you that time runs forwards and backwards? Sideways, upways, downways, and noways. What if I told you that time was nothing more than our own invention and you could choose to ignore it? What? Well, I'd say you need medical attention. <laughs> Have we met before? No. So you would call us strangers? Well, sounds about right. It's a matter of timing, is it not? Whether we're strangers or acquaintances, friends or enemies, time gives us certainty. We rely on it. It makes us believe that something matters. And once we believe that something matters, we begin to invest time. We borrow time, lend time, until inevitably, we run out of it entirely. If you believe that we are strangers, how could I know that you're 68 years old, 120 pounds, and that you were born in Little Dakota? How? How could I know that you're partial to Italian food and crocheting? That you love planting roses and have four loving grandchildren? Or that you lost your husband last May? What was his name? Roger? don't understand. Exactly. And that's the point of it all. As soon as you don't understand it, it becomes a waste of time to try. And then any number of things are possible. Thank you all. You've been a lovely audience. Make sure to remember and tell your friends, free magic! You should eat. For three, for four. Um, eat. I'm not hungry. You have it. How long has it been since you slept? Dom. 146 bucks. That's today's take. Fucking 146 bucks. It's just twisted. These suits and tourists coming to gawk at the slabs, trying to get a taste of what it's like down here. So when they go back to their fucking penthouse, they can feel like they made an impact. Like they understand. Understand what? The game. It doesn't feel like a game. It's a game to them, Dom. Lose a little, gain a little. To them it doesn't matter. Money's an abstraction. Out of sight, out of mind. This right here, is fucking pocket change these people. Party cash, burn money. How much are we short? About 300. We're gonna talk to the butcher. I think I can get him to give us a higher take on a few of those watches and wallets. He'll shine them up and Saw him back to the same tourist that we swiped him from. More water for you, hun? Uh, no thank you. Mm. And you, still not hungry? No. Just holler if you need anything. When? Tonight. Hey, so? Hmm? Why is he called a butcher? It doesn't matter why he's called the Butcher. It's just a name. But it's not his real name, is it? Of course not. Then why? He's called the Butcher because he breaks down stolen cars and resells them. You bring him the car, he scraps it, sells the parts individually at a higher cost. 
Plus he's not known for being super friendly if you don't make the payments. Hey, it's gonna be okay. Gonna be in and out of there, five minutes. Trust me. Easy young blood, a little past your bedtime, isn't it? I gotta talk to the butcher. Hey, I gotta talk to the butcher. It makes you different than everybody else. The butcher and I have business. The butcher and I have business. You mean the butcher has business with you? Who's this little fucking scrap? Don't you touch him. Go ahead, young blood. Go ahead, open me up. Because you can either cut me and have 25 guys come down on you, or you could put that fucking letter opener down and sit the fuck down, because I don't think you got the brass. Sweet Tooth, what the fuck are you doing? Harassing some kid? Harassing him? He's got a fucking knife to their throat. See, that's your problem. You don't take responsibility for your own actions. Fuck responsibility. Get this little shit off me. First, I want to hear you say from now on you're taking responsibility. Are you serious? Did I stutter? I didn't quite get that. I'll take responsibility for my actions. Yeah, that wasn't so hard, was it? Come on, kid. Butcher wants to see you. Me? Who else? Come on. Fuck responsibility. I'd ask you why you're here, but we both know the answer to that, don't we? I need you to outsource some product. It's too hot for me to sell them all on the street for the same value. I need you to push them to people who are outside the slab. You know, you're not the first little rat to come crawling in here asking for favors recently. Brake lines are shot, and the uh, swing arm is cracked all the way through. Pretty much as mobile as a fucking cement block right now. What do I pay you for? Yeah, I got loads of these little grifters coming down to my shop lately. Fucking street rats running these small time games want me to push their product to buy us outside the city. Like I don't have enough on my plate. Remember that uh, sweet tooth guy owes you for three months? Plus that fronted out to grass. Do I need you to remind me? Is that your job to remind me of who and what I am owed? You are a fucking tool, an instrument in this garage. You do not think, you do not listen, you work. Nothing more. I don't have time for these petty gambles. Often wristwatches. You got a legitimate request. You got a big score, then we'll talk. Otherwise, pack up your self-pity and get the fuck out of my shelf. I need the money. Then earn it. You hard for cash? Head on down to 6th Street and get in on the grifter games. Small time has got a high stakes card game. They run out of a coin laundry down there. They don't think I know about it, but if they get lucky and get a little side cash, it keeps them out of my hair. You got balls, kid. So I'm gonna do you a favor. That'll get you in the door. You come see me when you have game, or at least some capital. The uh, catalytic converter's busted open too. It's gonna have to be replaced. But uh, I never really done that kind of work before.
You don't think I don't see you sneaking by me? Huh? You're three months late. Where's my money? Where is my money? He'll be back soon. He went out to get some milk. Hey, Mom. He'll be back soon. He went out for some milk for Dom. Who's coming, Mom? Have you seen him? Dad? You look just... Mom! Leave it alone. Dad's gone. We've talked about this. The grifter game. What? The butcher mentioned it. Something about an underground game for players. Might be worth looking into. Sounds risky. Sounds like the slab. for the grifter game. Is wired. The action is to you, Mr. Brody. Are we playing cards or what? Brody, it's your play. It's hard to fucking concentrate with you annoying me. Besides, man, you already took all my money. From me another thousand. You're three buy-ins deep already. <laughs> and you owe me for last week. It ain't my fault. Louise has been tight on the money and Disability checks late in the mail. The play is key, Mr. Brown. What disability? The fact that you can't concentrate for more than 15 seconds? You have the attention span of a fucking goldfish. You know I have a hyperdeveloped social anxiety complex. You have a hyperdeveloped neck for losing money. It doesn't help that we have to play cards in this shit house. Dealer, you really must find a way to quiet this dribble. I feel as though I'm playing cards with children. <laughs> If you don't give us a place, sir, I will have to call the floor manager. Okay, fine, fine! I fold. I'm out. Hey, kid, I didn't know you were so brave. Uh, dealer, change in plans. What call for a player in ruling? With who is your stand in? Kid here. We'll have to do it as a play over. Speak English. He will play with your money for the rest of this hand. Yes, yeah, that's, that's, that's good. Listen, kid, you teach that gold tooth germ a lesson, and I'll make it worth your while. And if I lose, you won't. But if you do, you'll like it. You fucking kidding me? You losing a couple hands, and you bringing this little fuck who pulled a knife to my throat? Can't stand the heat. Get out the chair.
Two aces wired. The action is to you, sir. Call. And raise another thousand. For a play like that, you'll have to get approval from your sponsor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it to him. Go ahead. Go ahead. Your call, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raise one thousand on top of the fifteen hundred. Brings it to twenty five hundred. Action is to you, Mr. Sweet Tooth. Raise, huh? Pretty smooth when the money's not yours. When you're not crawling into our shop on your hands and your knees, asking us to bump purses and watches for you. Fuck it. I'm not playing your games, kid. Fool. Daddy beats you on the damn hands! You yeah. son of a bitch, you scam me? You scammed yourself. Good job, kid. Good job. Hey! You got something that belong to me? See, you're mistaken when you thought it was gonna be that easy. You think that fucking pig sticker scares me, huh? You think you can humiliate me in front of everybody and I let that stand? Hold him up. Hey man, are y'all holding anything? Get the fuck out of here. What the fuck? Hey, is that a kid? Oh, that's fucked up, man. What the fuck do you care? This kid is gonna fuck everything. Hey, up. handle it! Truce! Truce! Let's get out of here. He'll be back soon. He's gone out for some milk. Okay, no, he's not ever coming back. Not ever.
no entry. I see the butcher. No entry. The butcher and I have business. The butcher's not having any business right now. Ah! Freaking rat! You take my money, you little rat! You think you can scam me? Run them fucking small time games on me? You take my money? My hospitality? I didn't mean to. Of course you didn't mean to. You didn't mean to fuck me over. You didn't mean to take profit from my bars coming to my garage. You didn't mean to take my dope wholesale and sell it to my customers behind my back. You didn't mean to do all these things, but you're gonna suffer the consequences. I get you the money. Now we're thinking. You can and you will. At interest. Interest? On interest that it take me away. Tomorrow. That's impossible. That is up to you. Ask me for something. Go ahead and ask me for something. We've got the gear. You need to rest. Dom, what if I told you that time runs forwards and backwards? Sideways, upways, downways, and noways. What if I told you that time was your own invention and you, Dom, could choose to ignore it? <clears throat> Look at me, Dom. We're in this. And nothing's gonna solve it except exactly that. Solving it. So let's get this done, okay? for the Grifter Gate. We only had one chip. Do you hear me? We only had one chip. Hey! I figured you shits would be coming back. I want what's mine. It's hot. Nope. But not a play over. I'm in on my own take. What money? You're a fucking street rat. Territory. I don't follow, sir. Everybody in this room knows that Dom and I operate on the northeast blocks. We own that part of the slab. If I lose, I'll give that game up to whoever takes it. Like we can't come and take it from you anyway, you little shit. It's a good deal. You're in. But only because I want to see you crawl out of here when I take the only thing that you have left. Then the game's on. Good afternoon, gentlemen. of timing, is it not? We are strangers or acquaintances, friends or enemies. Time gives us certainty. We rely on it. It settles us. It makes us believe that something matters. Once we discover something matters, we begin to invest time. We borrow time. Lend time. Until inevitably we run out of it entirely. 
What the fuck did you just say? What is this? Get the fuck out of my shop. Tell that idiot brother of yours to stop sending Shadow looking for favors. You're a tool. An instrument in this garage. You're not thinking about this work. <laughs> 